Hello and welcome to Pride Park ahead of this, the final day of the championship season where visitors Sheffield Wednesday know that with victory they will be promoted to the Premier League for the first time in 21 years. The visiting fans are in full voice but the question here remains, will their team deliver? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to episode 11 here at Sheffield Wednesday and today we are playing Derby County in the final game of the season and if we win or if we better the results of Bournemouth and Norwich we will be a Premier League side, which is absolutely terrifying when you look at the team that we have. But anyway, that's beside the point. Now, straight off the top, don't let episode length fool you here to thinking you know what happened. If we win this game, we'll have our end of season awards, our goal of the season competition, all that kind of stuff. If we lose, we'll have the first, or we don't get promoted, we'll have the first uh, leg of the playoff semi-final. So episode length will not be a determining factor in what has happened in this Derby County game. Um, now, we can see Norwich are away to Barnsley. And Bournemouth are at home to Stoke. So they're both playing teams that are lower in the table than we are. Um, so we do probably have the tougher of the fixtures as well. Now let's go and have a quick catch up and see how we got into this position. Uh, obviously I said we were going to come back for the last two games. It became obvious that we were going to be in the playoffs at a minimum. And there was a chance um, that we got uh, we got into uh, you know the chance for automatic promotion. Which as it turns out is uh, even a better chance than I thought it was going to be. Uh, ahead of that uh, Nottingham Forest game. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the Blackburn game to start things off and see how we got on. Delhi Bashiru headed us into a second half lead. Liam Palmer crossed for Patterson to make it 2-0. And Massimo Luongo secured the points. So a great second half performance from us. We were okay in the first half, but didn't really get the job done, if we're honest. Uh, but Deli Bashiru, Patterson, and Masluongo with a late goal there to cap it off for us. Score flattered us a little bit, uh, but a big, big three points at home. Next up, it was a tough trip to Middlesbrough. We took the lead in first half stoppage time when Moritz Littner bent in a stunning first goal for the club. Kachunga crossed for Jack Marriott early in the second half. However, Barra quickly pulled one back, but we held on for the win. So a quick look at XG will tell you we were very, very lucky to win this game. Moritz Littner, he knows when to pop up with the first goal for the club, doesn't he? And what a goal it was as well. Uh, Marriott got the second. They, uh, they got one back, but we did manage to cling on. But yeah, XG tells the story. We were very, very lucky to win this game. Final game, final home game of the season, of course. Uh, final game to catch you up on was against Forrest. Let's go see that one. Harris crossed for Adam Rich to give us an early lead. Forrest drew level. But Adam Rich tapped in to restore our advantage. And Townsend crossed for Harris to make it 3-1 at half time. Forrest pulled one back in the second half, but we got the three points. So a game where we really did struggle to see them off. They missed a penalty as well, but a reach double. Harris with a goal. Now Harris is injured. He's not available for this game against... He's not available for the rest of the season. Hopefully this is going to be our last game of the season. Um, they got the goals and yeah, we just about hung on. XG can tell you a story there again. It was an even, even game. Uh, but again, we just managed to do enough. Littner, you can see, didn't play well in this one. We had to bring on... Did we bring on... I can't remember if we brought on somebody or not for him. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, he's been struggling with uh, with nerves, despite the fact it says that he enjoys big games. Um, so that's a little bit confusing. But that's how we got to where we got to here. Let's go and have a look and see what we're doing against Derby. You can see we're expecting the 5-3-2 uh, formation from them. Uh, and this is the team that we are sending out. It's Will Smith in goal. It's Penny, Van Aken, Borna, and Iorfa as the back four. Bannon, Deli, Bashiru, and Littner in midfield. Kachunga and Reach with Patterson up top. They've been stars for us all season. We just need one more performance from them. Uh, now, of course, Marriott is unavailable as well because he is on loan to us from Derby County. So that's why he doesn't feature. We've got Rhodes on the bench in, uh, in place of him. But there is the team sheets, and what do we say? I've been trying to figure out what to say in this team talk. Um, I mean, we've been in good form. A great opportunity to show you. All right, let's just go with the assistant. That seems to have motivated everybody, so that's that's good. That's good. Can we highly motivate them now? That's the big question. I tell you what, that could not have gone much better. The assistant manager is not too bad at giving a team talk. All right, and well, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, we've just got to hope that we show up. It's we're, we're in we're in good form. 
Um, but like I say, this, we have been lucky the, those last two games to get the results. Brentford, as you can see, are promoted as champions. Well done to them. Um, they have been, well, they've, they've shown us up, haven't they, twice. So they've been a very good team this year and no doubt deserve it. Um, but yeah, what, what will become of this game? We are about to find out. It is, uh, well, it's destiny, isn't it? Are we destined to go up or are we destined to go through the playoffs? Let's give them some encouragement. Bournemouth have taken the lead, so they go into the automatic promotion places. Looks like we are going to have to win it. You wouldn't want it any other way, really. You know, you want to earn it. I take it if they other teams lost. But that's not, don't get me wrong about that. But uh, here we go. I offer with a, a free kick. Bennon, ball in there for Delhi Beshiru to cross to reach. He heads it down. Patterson's there. Patterson sticks it in the back of the net. It's a tenth of the season for Callum Patterson. And we are 1-0 up in this biggest of big games. Wonderful stuff. Nice little work move there as well. Adam Reach with the assist. And well, Patterson involved in the build-up as well. Nice cross ball. Knocked down wonderfully by Adam Reach. Patterson's in there. And well, you'd expect it the other way around, really, wouldn't you? Patterson knocking it down for Ricci. But we'll take that. It's 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday. And um, well, as things stand, we are a Premier League club. Stoke has equalized against Bournemouth. We've got defending to do here. Oh, unmarked, but over the bar. So maybe just give it a focus. Don't get too excited yet, boys. Come on, let's get into half time. Oh, could we go 2 0 up or could it be 1 1? Kachunga, flick on. It's Patterson. Oh, they've left him alone, and Callum Patterson has a double. 2 0, and they have gifted us that second goal. Another flick on. This time, Kachunga. Patterson pounces again. And, well, Patterson's supposed to be the target man nodding it down for the wingers, not the other way around. What is the Derby defence doing there? They've left uh, Patterson to each other, and he's just, uh, well, he's, he's accepted the gift gratefully. He's onside. And, I mean, Evans and Bellick there, or whoever you say his name, they are, well, they've got some questions to answer, don't they? But, three shots, two goals, thank you very much. Um, all right, assertively, boys. Is it a, it's got to be a don't get complacent, doesn't it? We've stressed out Kachunga. Can we win him back? You've done well, mate. You've done well. I'm happy with you. Keep going. No, he's still demotivated. Um, we've got a couple of defenders here that I'd like to see a little bit more from. Iorfa and Penny. Now, both fullbacks. That does sometimes make me wonder if that is a tactical thing. We'll keep an eye on Kachunga. We do have Izzy Brown on the bench if we need to make a change there. Let's tell them to focus early in the half, and then we'll give them some praise. We haven't conceded early in the half, so that's key. Let's give them some praise. Oh, if this team is a Premier League team, we don't have any Premier League players in this team. Stoker's beating Bournemouth. Now, what's happening in Barnsley-Norwich? What we don't want is to get back to 2-1. Away, boys. Oh! Uh, Bannon is not playing well. Uh, let's get Mass on for him. I offer to Bannon. Bannon with a... Oh, he's looking for reach. Couldn't find him. Here we go with Penny to reach. Back to Penny. He's got uh, Patterson lurking on a hat trick as well, of course. Patterson. It's down. It's a... Just past the post. Was it Delhi? I think? He is probably the one Premier League player we do have. Littner now over a free kick. Towards the back post. Oh, it's just over. Wayne Rooney has been subbed off in disgrace. Let's give him some more praise. We are eight minutes away from the Premier League. Barnsley's beating Norwich. Bournemouth is losing as well, last I saw. So it may not matter what happens here. But obviously we want to try and get that result anyway. Oh, what are we going to do with this team in the Premier League? We don't have any Premier League players. Patterson, can he get himself a hat trick? Um. Oh, I'm just... Come on. Oh, Will Smith is there. Penny's not playing well. Neither is they offer. Neither are the fullbacks. But we're in stoppage time, boys. We've only gone and done it. We're a Premier League club. Sheffield Wednesday, despite a six-point deduction, are a Premier League club. Callum Patterson is the hero. He gets himself a double, boys. That is absolutely superb. What the hell are we going to do in the Premier League? So Watford secure a playoff spot, but the big news is Sheffield Wednesday promoted to the Premier League. Absolutely superb. Initial budgets, half a million wage, 
40 million or so to spend. And we need to basically do a complete rebuild of this squad. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm in shock, to be honest. I did not think it was possible this first season, I'll be honest. Um, Patterson, what a star he was in the final day there. And, well, we're, uh, we're several years ahead of, uh, ahead of uh, schedule there. That is, it's, it's amazing. It really, really is. If you've enjoyed this season, guys, make sure you hit thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. Next year, we're going to be in the Premier League. And we're going to have a summer transfer special for the ages as we try and turn this squad of ours into a Premier League survivable squad. Um, but there we go. That is the final league table. Preston, Watford, Norwich, and Bournemouth will go into the playoffs. And, well, Adam Reach, second top goal. Now, Adam Armstrong, 32 goals. Is that someone we could try and take into the Premier League with us? Uh, I mean, this is the sort of area we're going to have to look in, isn't it? Yeah, that's but that's for me to worry about. I'll think about that off camera. Uh, but anyway, guys... Wait right there. We have our end of season awards coming up. Our goal of the season competition as well. There's still a lot to come. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sheffield Wednesday end of season awards. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. What a season. What a season. Oh, yeah. Sing it loud and sing it proud, people. All right, that's enough. Well, it has been a wonderful, wonderful season here at Sheffield Wednesday. I could not be any happier with how this first season has gone. Uh, we overcame the six-point deficit and still, somehow, with this team, managed to get ourselves into the Premier League. I'm not quite sure how we've done it. But uh, it's not just me. Obviously, the players, they're the ones that go out there and get the job done. So I think we need to begin the evening by giving them a big, big Premier League round of applause. Well done, boys. You've outdone yourselves this year. Okay, so let's give out some awards. The first award this evening is the Golden Pen for this season's Signing of the Year. And while we didn't make many signings, and the ones we did make came in on free transfers, but the one that I think did just about stand out to us all was at the back. It's Richard Nartley. The next award is the Golden Card, awarded to the player this season with the worst discipline, and, well, this year it was uh, no red cards, somewhat surprisingly, uh, certainly for the winner anyway. And with six yellows, that winner is Massimo Luongo. The next award is the Golden Bullseye, awarded to the player with the best pass completion rate. And I'm going to be honest, a surprise winner for me this season with 96% pass completion rate. That is very impressive indeed. If we're going to see him up once tonight, the Golden Bullseye goes to Richard Nutley. The next award is the Golden Spoon, awarded to the player who feeds the strikers, the man with the most assists. And this season, maybe not the most impressive number, but nine assists was enough to get the gong. And the winner is, from left back, Matt Penny. The next award is the Golden Anchor, awarded to the man that we can rely on, the player with the highest average match rating. And this season, average match ratings weren't a strength, I'll be honest, but uh, 7.24 was enough for this man to get the gong. Uh, why am I saying gong all the time? To get the trophy. And the winner is... Get back up here, Matt Penny. The next award comes from the medical department. It is the Golden Cross awarded to this season's most injured player. And, well, we had a lot of niggling injuries this year, but there was only one man that went above and beyond to ensure that he won this trophy. He suffered a broken leg. He missed 40% of the season. The winner is the centre-back, Che Dunkley. The next award is the Golden Soother. Awarded to the baby of the team, this season's best young player. And, well, we've already seen him up here twice tonight. So it's a third trophy. And the winner is... Matt Penny. Now it's time for one of the big ones. It is time to award the Golden Boot for this season's top goal scorer. Now we all know who it is. It was a shock this season to see him banging in as many goals as he did. And if he can get half as many goals next season in the Premier League, well, I for one will be a very, very happy Aussie villain. 23 goals in the end 
the man who wins the golden boot is, of course, Adam Reed. And now it is time for one of the awards that means a lot to the players. It is the Viewer's Choice Award Player of the Season, as voted by you watching at home on YouTube. And we had four nominees this season, four very good nominees, but there's only one man who could win, and fans love a goal. The winner is Adam Reed. Now, before we get to the big one and announce this season's player of the year, we do need to take a minute to acknowledge the team of the season. So if you do just direct your eyes up to the board, you will see that the goalkeeper is Wildsmith. The back four is Penny, Borna, Van Aken and Iorfa. I said it right. The, uh, the midfield is Torres. Torres? Uh, along with Masluongo and Deli Bashiru. The wingers are, of course, Adam Reach uh, with Kadeem Harris. And the striker is the hero of the final day, Callum Patterson. Well done, boys. You've all had wonderful seasons. And Torres, speak to your agent, mate. I'm not quite sure how you got in that team. Look, Ben and mate, I would have put you in team of the season. I don't pick it. I don't know who picks it. Who does pick team of the season? You've upset Barry now. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Anyway, where am I? I'm hiding behind the trophy here. The next up, next award, it is the big one. It's the golden star for this season's player of the season. And, well, there was, I think, well, there was a few players that were good for us all season. We've already seen one of them up here collecting the viewers award. Uh, but this man is, well, it's not Adam Reach, but it is someone we've seen up here a few times already. So the golden star for this season's Sheffield Wednesday Player of the Year is Matt Penny. So there we go. Congratulations to Matt and the rest of the winners. It has been well, a truly memorable, a truly miraculous season this year at Hillsborough. And well, I cannot wait to see what next season or what next season brings. Uh, what I will say to all the players, you've done brilliantly this season. Most of you will be replaced for next season. Uh, but for the fans, there's a lot to look forward to uh, and a lot of new faces that will hopefully be wearing Sheffield Wednesday jerseys next season. Thank you, everybody, in the auditorium this evening. Thank you for you watching at home. And I look forward to see you all again next season as their Premier League club. Enjoy your night, everybody. Thank you. So there we go, end of season awards are done for the year and well done to Matt Penny on being the player of the season. I think it's just about deserved. Uh, I think Adam Reach perhaps scoring 23 goals would be annoyed, but uh, you know what? Um, can you score 23 goals next? It'd be a little bit disappointing this year. He didn't do too much. We can see all the new arrivals. There was a few of them. Um, the ones that I bought in anyway. Nutley, I think, was the one that sort of, and, and Littner, they, they they were the main two, I think, contributors there, but uh, everybody else was just kind of backups. Um, and Espinosa, I mean, first season in a new country. I wouldn't judge him too harshly, but uh, yeah, I don't know how much he'll play next season, to be honest. Uh, so that's the new arrivals. The season results, uh, obviously, we we exceeded, I think, even our own expectations. We were supposed to avoid relegation, and we found ourselves in the Premier Leagues. So. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting summer, isn't it? Uh, we didn't quite sell out, which is disappointing. Um, have a quick look. Friendly Cup doesn't mean anything. FA Cup we got knocked out in the fourth round by Wolves. We weren't taking it super seriously. Uh, we kind of did what the minimum requirement there. And the Carabao Cup, um, I mean, it's obviously disappointing to get knocked out by Peterborough United. But to be honest, we had bigger fish to fry. And as it turned out, we fried them because well, wonderful stuff. Moments to remember, the biggest win was the 5-1 against Swansea. That was quite the performance from us. Um, no, that's the biggest win, sorry. The moment to remember was the 4-0 against Cardiff. That was one of the first games, wasn't it? If not the first game. Um, so that was brilliant. And then the goal of the season, we'll come back to that in just a second, but Izzy Brown's goal against uh, Middlesbrough. Um, and that was an absolute stunner. The finances. We, uh, well, the club reputation is, uh, it looks like we're going to improve a little bit. Uh, we don't really have anything to compare it to, but that's how we did. That's obviously all going to go up massively next season going into the Premier League. Um, with 1.2 million in merchandise sales, Luongo was the top shirt sale, which surprises me. Reach, Espinosa as well surprises me. Kachunga and Patterson. Um, how many of those guys will be around next year? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Because we have a lot of work to do. Team of the season. Not quite sure how Torres has snuck in there ahead of Barry Bannon, but otherwise, I think it's just about fair enough. Um, yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe Espinosa or Littner ahead of Mas Luongo, but um, 
yeah, I mean, there's no real complaints there apart from the defensive midfielder. And the accolades. Now, of course, these are just for the league, so it's not always the most accurate. Uh, you can see we won a couple of awards there ourselves. Uh, but Penny was the Fans Player of the Year given by the game. Uh, Young Player of the Year was Penny. Signing of the season was Nartley. Goal of the season, again, we'll come back to that in just a second. Reach was the top goal scorer. 23 overall, 22 in the league. Matt Penny with nine assists. Matt Penny with the most man of the match awards. Not an award we give out on the night, but still uh, a very good achievement from him. And uh, also he had the highest average rating. And again, I think that's just in the league at 7.2. Um, and some club records. Now, of course, these are records that don't sort of carry over from uh, historically. But Matt Penny, uh, most mayor of the match awards. And Mas Luongo uh, with the discipline. So that is uh, a quick recap of that. Now, what else do we have to look at here? Analysis report for the season. I don't really... That's there if you want to have a look at it. Um, we out-XG'd ourselves, which is good. Uh, we out-XG'd the points. And our expected position was fourth and we were second. So, you know, even if we had uh, done as expected we still would have been in the playoffs. So we've had a really, really solid year. That's really, really, uh, yeah, really, really pleasing. Um, I don't know if we want to play attacking, entertaining football on the Premier League board, but uh, we'll go with it. Play counter-attacking football. <laughs> that might be something a little bit more. We've got to fight bravely against relegation. Now, hopefully, hopefully the board isn't going to sack me if we... I mean, usually fight bravely against relegation means you're not going to get sacked if you don't avoid it. But... Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. This is the team dynamics for the season coming into the offseason. Uh, we can see Reach, Luongo, and Bennett are the team leaders. I don't know if Barry Bennett's going to be around next year. His contract's up. He's a bad trainer. Uh, and to be honest, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet about Barry Bennett. Uh, end of season team meeting. We'll do that off camera. The new season team report. We'll have a look at this maybe in a little bit more detail coming into the summer transfer special. Um... I mean, it's it's not good enough, is it? It's We've got a lot of work to do. And uh, I don't think... I mean, a big, big reason we went up this year was because of Adam Reach's goals. Now, is he going to get 20-odd goals in the Premier League? I mean, he might. But I think we'd all be very surprised, wouldn't we? So, yeah. Um... End of season break, training, we'll do all that off of camera. Now, one thing I do like to do ahead of the new uh, the new season is obviously we'll have a summer transfer special next episode. We'll have a look at how, you know, how everybody did. So these are the guys that played, um, and they're all going to be, I think, big parts of anything we do next year. Um, we don't have too much wage budget. We are going to clear up a little bit of wages. You can see here the players that didn't play. Now, Manelli is just a backup goalkeeper. Um so that's fine. And Westwood will be leaving us, and he's on a big chunk. 30 grand a week he's on. So that's going to free up some space. Shaw's a youngster. Hines didn't really work out. Hildaldo's a youngster. We've got some guys here that we might look to move on. Rhodes will be leaving. That frees up wages as well. Um, and we go up and see who everybody else here. There is, they're kind of useful players, if not spectacular. Goals, obviously, Reach led the way. Patterson got himself to double figures. And, well, that was just about it, wasn't it, for goal scorers. We're going to need we're going to need goal scorers next year. And as I said, I'm not sure if Rich has another season like that in him at the top level. Assists, Penny was the most. Bannon was there with eight. Uh, Kachunga and Espinosa did their part, as did Delhi Bashiru. Um, Palmer and Litz did okay. And then we're kind of getting into, we expect a little bit more. Iorfa was fine. Um... But yeah, that's kind of, you can see all the other assist getters there. And the average match ratings, Penny led the way. Delhi Bashiru was good. Then Akin was okay. Uh, we can see not that many. I mean, for a team that won promotion, we really did rely on Adam Reach's goals. And I think the fact that he had 23 goals, only averaged 703, that tells the story as well. Um, I think we were able to set ourselves up as an effective team without necessarily being a good team. And yeah. We've, we've got a lot of work to do for next season. Now, what comes now, of course, is goal of the season. Now, the way this works, if you are new to the channel, uh, there will be the Izzy Brown goal that was given as goal of the season by the game, as well as three others I deem worthy of the accolade. Uh, there'll be a similar to the voting for player of the year. Down the top of the description, there'll be a link to a straw poll. Go click on that uh, and vote for which goal you want to be player, uh, goal of the season. Sorry, and we'll announce that uh, early next season. Um but uh, before that, we have, of course, some honorable mentions as well to look back on. We did score some good goals this year. So that's it uh, for this season, guys. If you've enjoyed it, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I cannot believe what we've done. 
And uh, well, I'll be back next episode. Now, there won't be, if you're watching live, there won't be an episode tomorrow being Friday because I need a day to get through the summer transfer. I probably need about a month to get through this one, to be honest. There's a lot of work to do. But we'll be back if you're watching live on Monday with that summer transfer special. But until then, as I said, I've been Ozzy Bill. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy our goals of the season. Take care. Here are our top four goals from the 2021 season. Don't forget to vote for your favorite.